Well, we now know where Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has been getting all her information about climate change from. 16-year-old Greta Thunberg, who was invited to Washington, D.C. yesterday to testify in front of Congress about how she thinks we should save the world. How can we get more young people involved? Um, how we can get more young people involved? Um, I think to just tell them the truth, tell them how it is. And um, because when I found out how it actually was, that made me furious. So I was, I wanted to do something about it. And that is the, at least I have spoken to many, and I think that is the, the experience many others have. Um, because as it is now, people in general don't seem to be very aware of mm. the actual science and the how severe this crisis actually is so i just think we need to inform them and start treating this crisis like like the existential emergency it is then i think people will understand and want to do something about it by the way this is not an audition for the next children of the corn film Democrats really did invite her to testify about what she thinks they should do about climate change. And the same puppet masters who've been pulling her strings have organized what they're calling the climate strike, where tomorrow kids across the country are expected to skip school to raise awareness about the weather. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio announced that he will excuse all kids from New York City public schools, allowing them to skip class to complain about the weather. He tweeted, quote, We have just 10 years to save the planet. 10 years! Today's leaders are making decisions for our environment that our kids will have to live with. New York City stands with our young people. They're our conscience. We support the 920 climate strike. Now we have just 10 years to live. My, how time flies. I swear it was 12 years just a few weeks ago. The climate strike is being organized by the United Nations, the same organization that back in 1989 warned by the year 2000 we would all be living in Kevin Costner's water world because of climate change. MSNBC just kicked off an emergency 48-hour broadcast hoping to convince us to stop using air conditioning and never eat cheeseburgers again. Tomorrow kicks off our climate forum with most of the presidential candidates from both sides of the aisle. And tonight on NBC News, our streaming network, Al Ro uh, on our streaming network, Al Roker will host a special show, Climate in Crisis, at 10.20 p.m. Please get as engaged in this conversation as you can, your life, your property, your children's prosperity, and their children's prosperity all depend on this. <laughs> Our lives depend on this, they say. I mean, what's next? Are they going to claim we all need to start eating insects to save the planet? <laughs> oh, wait, what's this? The problem is that the way in which we are eating is not sustainable. The farming of livestock and the farming of grain to feed those livestock is contributing hugely to environmental degradation, which is also exacerbating climate change. As the population is growing, we are running out of resources and we need to find different ways to eat. Insects pose one potential solution to this. If you're farming insects, the vast majority of them actually use far less water, emit far less methane, and the process of farming them emits far fewer greenhouse gases. NBC News just added a section to their website called the Climate Confessions, saying even those who care deeply about the planet's future slip up now and then. Tell us, where do you fall short in preventing climate change do you blast the AC, throw out half your lunch, grill a steak once a week? Share your anonymous confession with NBC News. I do have a confession, NBC. I started leaving my car running all day to help global warming so this winter won't be so cold. You can also view the other confessions that people have submitted. Maybe to help stop global warming, big retailers like Walmart can start installing Tesla solar panels on their roof. Oh wait, what's this? Walmart sues Tesla over solar panel fires at seven stores. The world's largest retailer says Tesla's energy division installed solar panels that caught fire on some store rooftops, causing millions of dollars in damage. 
So Walmart would like Tesla to remove solar panels from all 240 Walmart store locations where they've been installed. Well, maybe Amazon with their enormous warehouses could put solar panels on their roofs to stop global warming. Oh wait, what's this? Tesla solar panels reportedly caught fire at an Amazon warehouse. The e-commerce giant reportedly experienced the same thing Walmart did. The good news is Miley Cyrus has promised not to have children until global warming has stopped, which is all the more reason to get behind the cause and help it. You can spread the word and support my channel by getting an I Love Global Warming shirt from markdice.com or click the link in the description below. It'll take you over to my online store where, of course, they are available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie for these cold coming winter nights and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check them out.